YouTube. Welcome back to Dwayne's World. Very excited about today's video. Do you know why? Because we are mowing with the 20 inch seven blade cow trimmer. There's a follow up video to my last video. Thank you for those that have already stopped in and watched that video, kind of our overview, review slash tutorial of the California trimmer. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as you did the last one, if not more. Uh, again, today's gonna be all about that mower in action. All right, so in my last video, I mentioned that I was gonna show you guys the grass catcher, so here she is. Uh, just really quickly, I think people wonder, when should you use a grass catcher? I generally, my, my, my kind of my rule is that if I'm cutting off green, I tend to leave that on the lawn, you know, to kind of put those nutrients back in the ground. But if I'm mowing off anything brown, such as scalping, I'm going to actually collect those clippings. Uh, the other time I may also use it is when I am breaking the one third rule and I know a lot of grass is gonna be coming off. So it really kind of just helps clean up the lawn uh, when you are mowing. All right, so on the topic of grass catchers, I just wanna quickly show you guys uh, the Real Rollers Grass Topper. Now, I will be featuring this in one of my upcoming videos and sharing my thoughts on it. Um, you know, I think there's a few reviews that are out there, but I love to be able to share my thoughts and what my impressions are. But if you want to see that, you're going to have to subscribe and look for it in one of my upcoming videos. Uh, let's see this mower in action today. I think you're really going to enjoy it. As always, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get a mowing. So I just want to point something out here on the height of cut adjustment bar on the cow trimmer. <clears throat> Normally, I guess I am mowing typically um, on this notch right here where you can barely see that hole. So it's one notch above that right now, which I believe based on the manual, that is a three quarter inch height of cut. Now I've mentioned in, in my previous videos, don't so much go based on the height that is in the manual, really kind of look to see what's best for your lawn. So again, I was mainly mowing right there which i believe is five eighths now this is three quarters so let me come over to my lawn here i want to show you guys something here i just I really want to highlight why it's important i mentioned this in my last videos why you want to use your eyes as your height of cut sometimes more so than the measurement when you look here on the right screen that stripe right there um, i ran that at five eighths so that one notch below that i showed in the uh in the previous video clip with that um, I was noticing I was starting to scalp. I wasn't liking that quality of cut. Now, on the next cut uh, row over, I bumped it up one. As you can see right there, or those couple of stripes there. That is being cut now at three quarters of an inch. Now, again, I don't care whether I'm cutting at three fourths or whether I'm cutting at five eighths or what that actual number is. What I care about is what does the lawn look like. And I'm much happier with it at the three quarter setting than the five eighths. And that's really what you want to use as your gauge. So just some further follow-up on that Celsius. It is definitely going to work. Love that. It's where that spurge needs to go is away. <laughs> That's where it needs to go. Doesn't need to go anywhere else but away. 
Uh, but e even if you look here on the right side, that one's not as dead, but it's still dying. So like I mentioned in my uh, Celsius video, and those, thank you for those that have watched the herbicide video. Um, definitely uh, appreciate the support there. Get the full effect out of Celsius, you're looking at 10 to 14 days. Uh, but that's just uh, kind of want to give you guys a quick update there uh, since my last video. she is single stripe action today no double stripes too tired it takes a long time but I love it it takes a long time to put these YouTube videos together uh, but I do it for you guys um, I hope you guys enjoy the content um, I'm really enjoying it um, be able to mow be able to really talk about things that I'm passionate about not only that I, I want to be able to get out content to you guys as quickly as possible and if I'm outside mowing all day long Who's going to be inside editing? Um, you know, Dwayne's World is a big corporation, but uh, it's not uh, it's not that big. Uh, people need days off, and people need uh, to um, take care of their families, obviously. So putting into work. But look at the result. It looks great. Can't complain about those stripes, uh, especially the fact that it's not even that sunny today. And I'll kind of just flip around the camera here to kind of show you guys that. You can see it's not very sunny right now, so um, a lot of overcast, uh, which I love. <laughs> Definitely uh, gave me the motivation to come out here and mow, not having to be under the heat. Although it is hot. It is hot. I'm not going to say it's not hot. Um, um, you know, some people say, Dwayne, you're doing it wrong. No, you're, you're not supposed to do that. You know, five eighths. If that's where you're at, you should have stayed there. Well, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, I kind of looked at it today and I showed earlier in the video why I chose to bump up the mower. Some people may say, well, you should have just hard cut it then. And I get that. And I could have done that. Uh, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with this height. You know, I get if you're, you know, mowing your grass at inch and a half and, you know, it got up to two inches now and, and it's just not really looking good anymore. But pretty much Bermuda looks good. That sweet spot is generally, generally between three quarter inch and one inch, not half inch. So as low as we want to be able to cut our Bermuda, um, you know, I think the, especially for the mowers that I like to use or the mowers that I feature on my channel, it's really about that homeowner, right? And most homeowners are not going to be mowing um, as crazy as some of, some of us lawn enthusiasts where we're out here every couple of days mowing. Realistically, if you can mow your lawn twice a week, um, you're going to be in really good shape. And if you have a uh, height of cut that is just really unrealistic, um, you know, it's not going to be fun out here every day in 100 degree weather mowing. But really, what I can't say that I'm not um, happy with this quality of cut. Looks great. Um, you know, the cow trimmer is definitely sharp. I keep it, uh, the reel, pretty well sharp there. Um, you know, I love the, uh, as I talked about in my first um, uh, video, the, high, uh, the reel to bed knife clearance adjustment. So easy on the cow trimmer. Absolutely love that. Uh, definitely have a leg up on the competition there. Um, speaking of competition, um, you may be seeing in one of my future videos a cow trimmer versus McLean comparison. Um, I think that would be interesting for those of you that want to possibly dive into either one of these mowers and kind of can't decide between the two. I can kind of point out what are the major differences uh, between the two. Uh, speaking of uh, differences though, um, one, of, um, one of the things that people probably do not like, I'm going to be transparent here, what people do not like about the cow trimmer is the fact that they, you know, you can sometimes see 
the rear tire marks. You know, the, the rear tires are skinnier and they're tapered, um, so to speak, at, at, towards the corners. And some people say that it sticks out too much in my cut. What can I do about it? Well, you can't really do anything about it. Uh, it's just the reality of the mower. All right, so that was the uh, cow trimmer in action. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, it's a pleasure to put these videos together for everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing that mower in action. I definitely enjoyed the mow. Um, and with that, remember, be excellent and party on.